the underlying, you know, premises that we work with, it's really, it's an attempt to reclaim the commons. Right, yeah. Because the commons was enclosed, is being enclosed constantly. Once it was people's birthright to have a sustainable relationship to natural environments. Common land in the UK is a survival from the uh, 10th, 11th centuries when the king divided up land and there was a general sense of what was called common law that related to all people having an access to a piece of ground. The idea was that there was a piece of land that everybody in the village could use. The few animals you had could uh, pasture there. You, you could put your cow out. This is why you'll find commons in New England. We really think of it as parkland today since so few of us herd sheep. <laughs> but uh, the idea is that we all have a stake in it. The commons was the people's park for them to use, not just to use the way they were told. Here you may swim, here you may walk, here you may rollerblade. Initially, you know, all natural areas were called the commons. The air is still called the commons today. So are the waters, the air, the atmosphere, and the land belong to everybody. Over the last seven, eight hundred years, in successive stages, those common lands have been incorporated into private ownerships. There's been this successive dispossession of land. The commons shrunk and shrunk until you have a little place where people can graze their sheep and so on, then get smaller and smaller on the side of the pork, get smaller and this little piece left, and now the last piece is being threatened with extinction. So the whole reclaiming, you know, you can work backwards too. You start from little up, then you more and more and more. 